The summary of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, brought to you by Click Through College. Your Money Blueprint. The first chapter introduces the concept of a money blueprint. According to Ecker, this blueprint, ingrained in our subconscious minds, significantly influences our financial success. Each person's financial blueprint is unique, and it shapes how we relate to money. This mental construct, formed during our early years, is a combination of our beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors towards money. It determines how we handle finances, investments, and wealth creation. Ecker puts forward the theory that differences in these blueprints are why some people become rich, others remain poor, and others yet land in the middle class bracket. The rich have a different blueprint than the poor or the middle class. For instance, some are conditioned to see money as a scarce, hard to come by resource, while others grow up viewing money as abundant and readily available. Understanding and altering this blueprint, Ecker suggests, is the key to achieving financial success. The Wealth Files. Ecker's core philosophy is the 17 Wealth Files. These are principles he believes differentiate the financial mindsets of the rich from the poor or middle class. Each wealth file presents a contrasting belief system about money, wealth, and success. For example, the first wealth file states that rich people believe, I create my life, while poor people believe, life happens to me. This mindset determines their approach to wealth accumulation. While the rich believe they are in control and take charge of their financial destiny, the poor feel they are at the mercy of external circumstances. Another example is the second wealth file which states that the rich play the money game to win. In contrast, the poor play not to lose. The wealthy are not afraid to aspire for abundance, while the less affluent tend to limit their financial goals to avoid disappointment. Each wealth file is an exploration into the subconscious mindsets and the specific actions needed to cultivate a millionaire mind. Rich people admire other rich and successful people. In the third chapter, Ecker delves into the third wealth file, which highlights the attitudes towards successful people. The principle states that successful people look up to other prosperous and successful individuals as role models, while those less affluent often resent successful people. Rich people understand that resenting success can never lead to success. Instead, they choose to admire, study, and learn from people who have achieved financial success. By celebrating the success of others, they generate a positive energy that attracts more success to them. This approach encourages a mindset of abundance and possibility rather than scarcity and limitation. Ecker suggests that by changing our mindset to appreciate and celebrate wealth and success, we can fundamentally change our financial trajectory. This admiration is not about envy or blind hero worship. Instead, it's about recognizing the qualities, decisions, and habits that have enabled others to achieve financial success, and seeking to cultivate these within ourselves. Admiring rich and successful people often leads to insights and inspirations that can help alter one's money blueprint. Rich people think big. Wealth file number five tackles the concept of thinking big. According to Ecker, the wealthy set their sights high, aspiring for substantial achievements and vast wealth. On the other hand, those less affluent tend to aim low, often out of fear of disappointment or failure. The rich understand that while aiming high might not guarantee success, aiming low almost certainly ensures a lack of substantial achievement. Thinking big doesn't just relate to financial goals. It encompasses all aspects of life, such as business ventures, personal growth, and contributions to society. By dreaming big and setting lofty targets, one can stretch their capabilities and unlock their full potential. Ecker encourages readers to break free from self-imposed limitations and think in terms of abundance and possibility. This shift in perspective opens the door to opportunities that can lead to considerable wealth. The chapter underlines the importance of aligning one's thoughts and actions with the mindset of a millionaire, aiming not just for good enough, but for greatness. Rich people are bigger than their problems. In Wealth File Number 7, Ecker talks about how successful people manage challenges. Problems, according to him, are a part of life, and they're particularly prevalent when one is striving to achieve ambitious goals. The rich understand that their path to wealth will not be without hurdles. However, instead of shying away, they face these obstacles head-on and find ways to overcome them. On the other hand, people with less wealth tend to avoid problems or find them too overwhelming to confront. 
Ecker posits that this avoidance stems from a mindset of scarcity and fear, which can hamper financial growth. He emphasizes that the size of the problem is never the issue, but the size of the person dealing with it. Building resilience, mental strength, and a problem-solving mindset is crucial in wealth creation. Ecker encourages readers to embrace challenges, view them as opportunities for learning, and understand that overcoming them is a testament to their growth and capability. Rich people focus on opportunities. Wealth file number 8 discusses the power of focus and perspective. Ecker suggests that rich people concentrate on potential growth and look for opportunities, whereas those less affluent tend to focus more on the obstacles. A wealthy mindset recognizes hurdles but doesn't get fixated on them. Instead, it continuously seeks prospects for growth and expansion. Focusing on opportunities enables successful people to see potential where others see problems. It allows them to take calculated risks that others might shy away from due to fear of failure. This optimistic outlook is a fundamental characteristic of a millionaire mind. Ecker advocates shifting focus from what could go wrong, the fear-based perspective, to what could go right, the opportunity-based perspective. By doing so, individuals can leverage situations that others perceive as adverse and turn them into stepping stones towards wealth. The chapter underscores the importance of being optimistic and open-minded, urging readers to welcome new ideas and possibilities. It teaches that by training the mind to seek out and focus on opportunities, one can create a pathway to financial success. The process of manifestation. Ecker's discussion on the process of manifestation comes alive in this chapter. He argues that to create wealth, you need to align four fundamental stages. Verbalization, thinking, feeling, and action. Each stage is critical in manifesting your desires and achieving your financial goals. Verbalization is the power of words. By affirming your wealth and success verbally, you are programming your mind to recognize and pursue wealth. The second stage is thinking. Ecker argues that your thoughts are powerful drivers of your actions and ultimately your results. If you think positively about wealth, your actions will reflect this. Feeling, the third stage, involves connecting emotions to your thoughts. When you feel the joy and freedom that wealth brings, you will be more motivated to pursue it. Finally, the action stage involves taking proactive steps to manifest your wealth. Ecker explains that the four stages of manifestation should work in harmony with your financial blueprint. If there is alignment, the journey to wealth becomes easier and more natural. The chapter emphasizes the importance of intentionality in creating wealth, proving that wealth accumulation is not by accident but by design. The Millionaire Mind Actions Each wealth file in Ecker's book is associated with Millionaire Mind Actions, practical steps to help reshape your financial blueprint. These actions aim to move beyond theoretical understanding and into tangible change. They guide readers on how to internalize the wealth files and integrate them into daily life. For example, one of the actions involves creating a wealth declaration statement. This declaration should affirm your financial aspirations and commitment to achieving them. By consistently reciting this statement, you are reinforcing your wealth consciousness and shaping your subconscious towards success. Another action involves practicing gratitude and forgiveness. Ecker emphasizes that a positive mindset nurtures wealth creation. By being thankful for what you already have, you attract more abundance. By forgiving past mistakes and learning from them, you clear the path for future success. Ecker encourages readers to follow through on these actions, emphasizing that knowledge without application is futile. It is in the act of doing that changes occur. The chapter therefore serves as an essential bridge between understanding the millionaire mindset and living it. The power of conditioning. Ecker dedicates this chapter to the importance of conditioning in reshaping our financial blueprint. Much like physical exercise shapes our body, mental conditioning shapes our mind. Through repetition and reinforcement, our thoughts, beliefs, and habits can be altered to support wealth creation. One of the key conditioning tools Ecker recommends is the use of declarations, positive affirmations stated with emotion. Declarations serve to reprogram the subconscious mind, replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones. They are most effective when stated in the present tense, with conviction and emotion, making the mind believe the statement is already true. He also suggests other conditioning techniques like visualization, where you create a vivid mental image of your financial success. 
Conditioning also involves surrounding yourself with successful people, continually learning and growing, and consistently applying the wealth files principles. The chapter emphasizes the idea that changing your financial blueprint isn't a one-time event but a continuous process. It requires patience, effort, and persistence. With regular conditioning, however, you can overwrite old, limiting beliefs and attitudes with new, empowering ones, setting the stage for a wealthier life. The Money Management System Ecker concludes his exploration of the millionaire mindset with a concrete strategy for managing money effectively. Despite one's income level, he argues that responsible money management is a critical skill in wealth accumulation. Ecker introduces a system where incoming money is divided into six separate accounts, each serving a distinct purpose. The financial freedom account, long-term savings for spending, education, necessities, play, and gift. This division ensures that money is allocated responsibly and purposefully. The financial freedom account is for investments that will generate passive income, leading to financial independence. Long-term savings for spending is for significant expenditures like vacations or a new car. The education account is for continuous learning and personal growth, while necessities cover living expenses. The play account is for immediate enjoyment, reinforcing the belief that wealth isn't just for future security but for present enjoyment too. Finally, the give account fosters a mindset of abundance and generosity. This chapter underlines the importance of disciplined and structured financial management, teaching that it's not just how much you make, but how well you manage what you make, that determines your financial success. The Wealth Principle Eckert presents the final takeaway, the Wealth Principle. He asserts that your income can only grow as much as you do. Therefore, personal development is as important, if not more so, than financial intelligence. While strategies and techniques can be useful, real, sustainable wealth comes from a deep understanding of oneself and a commitment to personal growth. Ecker urges readers to invest in their learning, development, and self-improvement. Expanding knowledge, refining skills, and broadening perspectives not only increase one's ability to create wealth but also enrich the overall quality of life. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of enjoying the journey of wealth creation. While the end goal may be financial abundance, the process of getting there, the learning, growth, experiences, and contributions, is equally, if not more, rewarding. True wealth extends beyond just monetary wealth to include personal fulfillment, happiness, and a sense of purpose. Conclusion Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth, is an impactful exploration into the psychological aspect of financial success. Rather than focusing solely on financial strategies, Eckerd delves into the root cause of financial success or failure, our beliefs and thoughts about money. The book unveils the crucial link between one's financial blueprint and their ability to accumulate wealth. It offers practical exercises and steps to reshape this blueprint and develop a millionaire mindset. From understanding and altering your money blueprint to adopting the wealth files and applying the millionaire mind actions, the book provides a comprehensive roadmap for anyone wishing to control their financial destiny. Ecker asserts that with a millionaire mindset, Financial success becomes not just a possibility, but an inevitability. In conclusion, Ecker's work is a reminder that wealth is within everyone's reach. It starts with understanding the power of the mind, reshaping limiting beliefs, and adopting empowering habits. With these in place, financial freedom is not just a dream, but a reality waiting to be realized. The Summary of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind